What's up guys, Oddman105 here, and I've recently had a request from one of my subscribers to make a video regarding uh, the best possible locations for purchasing a nightclub property. So in this particular video, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at the best locations for purchasing a nightclub property. Now, as you guys may be aware, all nightclub properties, to include their warehouse storage locations and parking garages, are all 30% off. So this is a great opportunity for players who may have been on the fence about purchasing a nightclub to consider getting their hands on one. Now let me preface this video by stating that this is not going to be a full-blown tutorial on purchasing a nightclub property or managing a nightclub business. I do however have a tutorial on my channel regarding uh, purchasing a nightclub and setting it up and managing a nightclub business so if you're interested please check out the link in the description down below for that full tutorial however for this video we're only going to be exploring the best possible locations for purchasing a nightclub property and with that being said let's begin okay let me also state that this is your game you can play the game however you want you can purchase whatever property you want anywhere you want uh, on the map or for whatever cost you want to purchase it at Okay. That being said, it's never a good idea to purchase any properties north of the Alamo Sea. And this is because uh, purchasing any business north of the Alamo Sea means that your delivery missions or sell missions are going to be in the south, which is either going to be Sandy Shores or in Los Santos, which is going to make sale missions for a solo player especially extremely difficult to near impossible. Remember, sail missions have a timer, and if you fail to complete the sail mission by the end of the timer, you may in fact lose property or goods for that business, but the mission's going to be a fail. So, you want to avoid purchasing any property north of the Alamo Sea. However, the exact opposite mentality applies when it comes to nightclubs, and that's because, as you guys can see here, all nightclub properties are in Los Santos. They're not in Blaine County here. So you want to avoid purchasing any nightclub property that's too far south on the map. And that will automatically disqualify Elysian Island Nightclub and the LSIA Nightclub. Okay? Now, remember, the farther south you go on the map, the cheaper the property becomes. And that's obviously because this is not prime real estate, and these areas make sale missions equally as difficult as purchasing property in the uh, Blaine County area. So, based on two criteria for purchasing a nightclub property, and those two criteria are the location of the nightclub property in relation to a potential sale mission, which will more than likely be in the northern part of the map, or even in the Blaine County area, and the location of the nightclub in relation to main roads, for example, highways, expressways, or main arteries on the map. Then, if we scroll down here, the Elysian Island property and the LSIA nightclub property are both disqualified. And that's because, although they have access to this main expressway here at the bottom of the map, they're both in the southernmost part of the map. And that would make your sail mission extremely difficult, especially for a solo player. You're more than likely going to have to sell in the northern part of the map here. And remember that all sail missions are timed, and you have to finish a sail mission within the time period allotted. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, uh, let's go take a look at each nightclub location, and we'll be able to see exactly why these three nightclubs along this main thoroughfare, this main expressway here, are the best possible locations for you to purchase a nightclub property. So, let's go out and take a look. Okay. So we've just arrived at the first and cheapest nightclub location, Elysian Island. We're here on the map. Okay. And as you can see, this is the farthest south location for any property on the map. And that alone makes this area pretty much impractical for delivery missions. Now, you do have access to the main expressway, which literally loops around the all of Los Santos and will get you out to Blaine County. However, remember that because of the location, uh, you may not make the time requirement or deadline for delivery missions, especially as a solo player. There are multiple ways in and out of Elysian Island, but you're more than likely going to be taking this road right here to the main expressway. 
but in my opinion, Elysian Island is the worst location for a nightclub because it's too far south. Okay, your second nightclub location is going to be here at LSIA Airport. We're located here on the map. Again, this location is also far south on the map, which makes it impractical. In addition to that, your main entrance will be here in this area. However, your warehouse entrance, let's hop on. It's going to be right here, which in and of itself is not a problem because your delivery vehicles are going to be coming from your warehouse right onto the main road here. However, because of its location and because of the distance from main expressways, this area is also disqualified as being a viable location for nightclub deliveries. Okay. So guys, we're here at the Vespucci Canal nightclub. This is actually the nightclub that I own. That's why I have a, a purple Corona ring right here. This is my warehouse entrance. And here is the main entrance to my nightclub. I've got my patrons out here waiting. We're located here on the map. And the reason I picked this location is because it's just down the street from my CEO office and my high-end apartment. Now, this was the perfect location for me because it is not too far from my other businesses and I've had no problems at all selling goods from this nightclub location as a solo player. This is absolutely a viable location for a nightclub property. And it's also one of the cheapest locations that you can get. Okay, so right now we are here at Cypress Flats, one of the best locations for your nightclub property. Located here on the map. Okay, and you can see why, because this is a main road that puts you immediately on the expressway. So this is absolutely one of the best locations for your nightclub property right here. Your warehouse entrance is going to be on this side and the main entrance to your nightclub is going to be around this corner down this alley right around here. Okay, we're coming up on Mission Row, the fifth location. located here on the map and again you've got a main road which puts you on the road for the expressway your entrance will be down this alley in addition to your warehouse entrance here in this area so your entrance is going to be on this side right where the for sale sign is here. Your warehouse is going to be around the back. And again, this is absolutely one of the more viable locations, one of the best locations for a nightclub property. Okay, so we're here at the sixth location, La Mesa, nightclub that is. Located right here on the map. And as you can see, this is an interchange, which puts you right on the expressway, which makes this absolutely one of the best locations for a nightclub property. Your entrance is going to be on this side, where the store is. Your warehouse entrance is going to be here. Okay, location number seven is Strawberry Nightclub, located here on the map, which is pretty much in the heart of, of the city. And again, this is also one of the best locations for a nightclub property because of its location to main roads. And you've got the expressway here. Best location for potential sale and delivery missions. Okay, your warehouse entrance is going to be down this alley. And more than likely, any delivery vehicle is going to spawn outside of this road here, of this alley, I should say. And your club main entrance is going to be around the corner. 
right down the street here. Right where the for sale sign is. Okay, we're coming up on Del Perro Club. Nightclub, that is. Okay, right down here along this alleyway. And we're here on the map. Now, the only potential problem with Del Piro is that it's a little far away from uh, any expressway, but it's near main roads. So technically, this is still a viable location. Your warehouse is going to be here. Your main entrance is going to be up the stairs. Right here where the gated door is located. Okay, so the ninth location here is downtown Vinewood, located right here on the map. And you guys can easily see why this is definitely one of the best locations for a nightclub property, because you've got the main road here, which takes you directly to, to literally almost anywhere you want to go in the map. And remember, your sail missions are going to be in the north, more than likely. So this is definitely a viable location for a nightclub property. Your main entrance is going to be on this side. In addition to that, your warehouse is going to be in the back here. Okay, we're here at the final club location, which is West Vinewood, located here on the map. You guys can see why this is also one of the best locations, if not the best location in the game. Okay. You've got a main road that will literally get you to anywhere you need to go. Whether it's in the north or the southern part of the map, right here. This is also, as I mentioned, one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive, nightclub location. So, your nightclub entrance is going to be on this side, right here, right at the for sale sign. Your warehouse entrance is going to be around the back here. Okay, this is an extremely convenient location, and again, if you've got the money for it, then this is going to be your best bet. Okay, now, my top three picks for nightclubs in terms of cost for location are going to be the La Mesa nightclub at just over a million dollars this week, because remember, they're all 30% off. The Mission Road Nightclub, at again, just over a million dollars. And the Strawberry Nightclub, once again, just over a million dollars. Okay, now, in terms of if money is absolutely no object and you don't care about the, the price and you just want the location, the best possible locations for nightclubs are the downtown Vinewood location at 1.16 mil and the West Vinewood location for 1.19 mil. Remember, these are discounted prices. All nightclubs are 30% off this week. Okay, guys, and that's pretty much it. This is just a short video on the best possible locations for nightclub properties. And if you're interested in a full tutorial on purchasing a nightclub and running a nightclub business, then check the description down below for my video. And with that being said, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One, and if you found this informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, keep bringing that smoke, and take care out there.